All right, well, this past week, both pro-choice and anti-abortion groups marked the anniversary of Roe v. Wade, the 1973 Supreme Court decision legalizing abortion in the U.S. There were marches across the country and in St. Petersburg. Roe was overturned by the new Trump-appointed conservative majority on the U.S. Supreme Court. Now abortion rights groups have gathered enough signatures on petitions to put preservation of abortion access on the Florida ballot this November. The state Supreme Court will review the ballot language next month on February 7th to decide whether voters will have a chance to weigh in. The amendment, sponsored by Floridians Protecting Freedom, is meant to limit government interference with abortion, banning or striking down any Florida law that prohibits, penalizes, delays, or restricts abortion before viability or when necessary to protect the patient's health, as determined by the patient's health care provider. Amy, th th you're on the pro-choice side. Uh, do you have any faith in the Florida Supreme Court? Do you think that they're going to allow this measure to go on the ballot, given the makeup, the conservative makeup of the Florida Supreme Court? Well, just remember that what they're deciding is not whether or not they agree with what with the, the essence of the ballot initiative. It's, it's simply, uh, does the, uh, the language cover one issue. Is it understandable and readable that most Floridians can can read it and understand it? And is it within a certain number of, of words and uh, doesn't go over the maximum number of words? That's, that's really all they need to, to figure out. And we believe uh, we worked really hard for a year, did lots of research, lots uh, and involved many, many um, legal scholars, constitutional experts, et cetera, to make sure that we hit those marks. And so we have really, really strong confidence. And our legal team is, is awesome and they're fully prepared to defend it in oral arguments on February 7th. So um, yeah, we believe that they will, they will see that it meets those, those marks and, mm -hmm. and, and it will be on the ballot. Travis, do you think the uh, Florida Supreme Court is likely to approve the language? I think they're likely to approve it. I think, look, we have a mechanism in place in, in Florida and every other state in the union to allow people to put things on the ballot, whether we agree with them or not. And so I think, I think it'll make it to the ballot and I think Floridians will get a chance to weigh in on it. And, and Paula, what do you think that'll do to turn out? What do you think that'll do to, you know, the, the 2024 November election? Yeah, interestingly, uh, polling shows that not only are there over 60% of the voters who um, agree with the ballot initiative, but over 50% of Republican voters. So I think it's going to increase voter turnout, particularly among those who, who want to see this pass. Um, so I think that's another reason why I'm a little nervous about what the Supreme Court is going to do, because Amy is 100% correct that they're supposed to be limited to those two tests. But once it gets before a very, very, very conservative uh, Florida Supreme Court, who knows what's going to go on. We remember back to the solar amendment, that was as confusing as can be, and they let that on the ballot. Um, with I think people. the fact that so few Republicans, if, if your numbers are correct, the 50% metric for Republicans in support of the measure. 53. 53. So I, I think that makes it a little less contentious and may not have some of the coattail effects that, that some folks on the left hope for whenever they see these initiatives placed on the ballot. So I'll be looking at that. I hope that's, you're right. yeah. that's I think it's just going to be one of those things that Floridians get a chance to vote on. When, when it comes to coattails, Amy, what are you seeing? Are you seeing more young people fired up over the the issue of pro-choice? The number of people who are coming out in support of the ballot measure it has been an astounding thing. On the in the field, when I'm I've been out in downtown St. Pete on the beaches, etc., collecting uh, the petition forms. The number of Republicans who are easy, eager to sign, the number of young people, the number of seniors, the number of males who are eager to sign. Um, people want government out of their personal health care decisions, and, and uh, including, including decisions around pregnancy. And so, yeah, it's a winner. It's definitely a winner. Okay.